Greetings YouTube! Why can't we have nice things anymore? With Spyro's Reignited trilogy coming up for release shortly, Activision decided that they hadn't screwed it up yet, so they had to go ahead and do that. Screw it up, I mean. Hate it. Basically, the official website for the game suddenly announced that you would need a download in order to play all three games. Only the first game will be playable straight out of the box. Game 2 and Game 3, no. No, you'll need an update. And as you might expect, Activision drew a shitload of heat for this decision, which they were then forced to clarify by issuing another statement. As with most games today, downloading an update after purchase is quite common. The language on packaging and on the web is to let players know the requirements for Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Well, okay, but I'm looking at the game website and... doesn't tell you a download is needed anywhere. Amazon's website doesn't tell you about it either. Well, unless you zoom right into the picture and you see that little teeny tiny incy weensy little bit of writing right there next to the Peggy panel, which it says requires content download. Thanks for being really clear about that, by the way. I mean, quite apart from the fact that Crash's Insane trilogy didn't require this kind of thing, which was also done by Activision, by the way. I really don't get why they felt the need to do this. I mean... Literally, the first game is playable, the second and third games are broken. They're broken on the disc. If you get the single disc and don't get the update, you only have one game to play, literally. And this is why this bothers me so much. If you have not got an internet, you will literally only be buying one game. You can't access the other two without the update. No internet, that means you're not so much bought a trilogy as just, well, a single game. Now I know what most people will say, they have an internet, and so do I by the way, and it's not a problem. Yeah, agreed, but if you haven't, you can't play them. It also calls into question, what happens when Sony stops supporting the PS4 in the future and takes that service offline? the update patch will no longer be available. And so those two games will be back to being broken. Because that's what they are. Some of the confusion online, of course, is over the sheer opaqueness of Activision's statement. It doesn't, for example, clarify if they're actually doing, you know, that thing that everyone was doing the last console generation. That thing where they had a download code in the box and part of the content you had to download. That was all part of that DRM, you can't resell this game, secondhand sales are bad, ah, bullshit. Because God forbid you might want to sell the game to someone else, or I don't know, lend it to your friend to play. No, 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 that wouldn't be on. From the sounds of the statement, that doesn't sound like that's what they're doing. It just sounds like it'll be a standard download, seeing as how they refer to the downloads as being normal nowadays. I mean, it's basically as good as admitting they can't make a game work right first time. Some people aren't too bothered by all this. Others have actually cancelled their pre-orders over this. Bottom line is, Activision probably shouldn't have done this. It probably would have been a far better solution for them to just take an extra three or four months or whatever, just to make sure that the whole package was fine. You know, like Crash Bandicoot. At least we're all kind of assuming that the second and third games are on the disc and just in a broken state. Again, Activision's statement, it's about as clear as a turd in a black hole. You can't, you can't really discern much from it. They haven't been very clear at all. They were probably just trying to rush this trilogy out the door, you know, after Crash Bandicoot's Insane Trilogy did so well. They were probably just trying to capitalise on that by bringing this out as quickly as possible. Guys, take your time next time. Seriously. People don't like it when they get games that are partially broken. Surprisingly. I'm just not quite sure anymore, like some other people online, whether I want to get this now. Am I going to be able to walk into game, take the game box off of the shelf, walk up to the front counter and say, um, 
This game's 30 quid and there's three games in it but two of them are broken and I don't have the internet to fix them. Can I have this for 10 quid? I'm just going to go out on a really extreme... I mean, I'm just going to hang my ass over the ragged edge and I'm just going to go with the wild assumption that they're going to turn around and say, no, no, you can't. I agree with some people online when they say that this isn't going to bother them. Hell, it isn't going to bother me. I have an internet. So, no, it isn't going to really inconvenience me if I get this. Honestly, at this point, I feel like someone should take a flamethrower to Activision's asshole and turn their stomach into a cauldron. I've no doubt that the Spyro trilogy will sell stupid good, even with all this controversy. But it's nice to see a bit of pushback, just... Just to let the developer know, or probably more properly the publisher, just letting them know this isn't on. Boo. So yeah, long story short, I think this is bollocks.